Hello everyone, welcome to more Let's Play Dragon Quest Monsters the Dark Prince. Last time, well, I did some grinding off screen and got some well, after we got some mausoleum, but I also did not mean to get these, but got the strength ring, which we can get via taking a flower that would fly us up to a chest that's near the laboratorium and the ring of wisdom which is in the laboratorium just to show yeah the laboratorium up there the top right landmark is where the chest with the strength ring is so yeah now it's time for the mausoleum Apparently, team is level 12. Focus on healing. Don't use magic. Support your allies. Weaken the enemy. Show no mercy. Focus on healing. So we'll hear that. Greetings. Let's go. Do you want to enter? And hopefully we can beat category G in the mall Zillium. Cause this is really tough. His opponent is a cold-hearted killer, an ice-born frozen thriller. It's Jock Frost. And uh... the first matchup is about to commence. On your marks, get set, go. And we're starting. Honestly, if you can pass the first. Set. The others aren't as bad, honestly, in my opinion. The winner of the first bout is the Cryptic King! Who could have predicted this outcome? Does this herald the arrival of a new dark horse? His next opponent scalps zombies with the steady dexterity of a trained medical professional. It's Sir Jerry! <laughs> I can't... I, I, I still can't take that seriously. The second matchup is about to commence. This team is not that bad to deal with.
Let's roll. Just have to wait until they win. <laughs> Monsters down. Two more to go. They're all in there, I'm quite sure, so. <laughs> it wasn't even a slime. Oh well. There you have it. The victor of our second bout, the Cryptic Kid. We're witnessing a meteoric rise of unprecedented proportions. Give it up for the Cryptic Kid! His next foe is a dedicated deviant who dares to deviate from the standard. It's Stats Beetle! The final matchup is about to commence. Are you ready for action? This is it. On your marks, get set. Cool. And then we're back to Harsh. If we manage to take out one of these guys quickly, then we're set. It doesn't matter which one we take on. Take out. We just need to take out one of them quickly. I didn't know those guys had assassins. Okay. You don't have to worry about sun and death. Two down. Like I said, if you take out one of them, the rest fall like dominoes. Monster Wrangler, whose name remains hidden behind anonymity, the Cryptic Kid. Perfect. For winning Katagui Oh, sorry about that. I'm moving my mic. Somewhere a bit more comfortable. There we go. As long as it isn't full for it. think you're ready to step up a Katagui next time. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. Well, well, someone looks like the cat who got the cream. You're known across this echelon now. The local monsters are sure to take a shine to you now. Too bad. That second piece of travelite you won should give us access to another circle of Nadiria. Indeed. And you're bound to meet many more powerful monsters there. Well? 
Shall we return to the tower and head to the next circle of Nadiria? Of course. <laughs> All is proceeding as planned. But you're still far too weak to wrest the throne from your father. You must grow stronger. <laughs> and who is that? Well, we won't find out for a while. Though, those who play Dragon Quest IV, they know that guy? Bad news. But we won't be taking on any more mausoleum for a bit. But the scene isn't going to last forever. I think it's time for the big gimmick. Also, I've scouted all the monsters in this area except for one. Did not mean to. It just ended up happening. Oh, that's a big fun hall. I want to see if that's a size L. Nope, it's a S. Size S. Oh. Eh, we might as well see if we can scare I doubt it, but if we can, that'd be great. Anger. Alright. I'm gonna do something. Something is not probably gonna help, but hey. There we go. Nope, it didn't come back up. Oh well. Now let's zoom. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just see if it is just zooming to Rose Hill. Because I thought the cutscene happened earlier. If we want to go to the next circle of Nadiria, we'll need to head home first so I can perform the rite of passage. Well then. Rose Hill, here we come. Monster well, can be fully, fully healed here, so... Yep, we'll return. Finally, Symphysis. I don't know how to do this, so I'll tell you guys. Because, being real, this is what this episode is going to be. <laughs> A bunch of synthesizing, and that's it. <laughs> oh, I know people are not going to be happy about that, but this is important. So I need to make sure I'm clear. Yeah. 
I'll talk about it. So let's go head down. Do synthesis. I didn't even realize. Hey, oh. Right, synthesis. How do I put it simply? Well, let's talk about the requirements to synthesize a monster. They need to be level 10, so level 8, level 9, anything below that cannot work. Anything above level 10 can work. It has to be at least level 10. They do not need to need be. They do. Ugh. They do not need to be in your party to synthesize. So if these guys were level 10, I could use these guys. Now, how does synthesis work? Well, each game changes it, and you can't really use the same synthesis recipes as the fanbase calls them. So, the best way to look at it is there is mainly three things that are mainly taken into account. First, if you notice, is the species. Modern Mannequin is material, slime is slime, Stump Chump is undead, vegan is dragon, Buttercorn is beast, Calamarca is nature, nature, dragon, uh, devil, let's see if I can find any more. They're, they usually don't give you that much, so I'm not surprised if there isn't any more. Yeah, there is no more. That's the one, the, one of the things. The second is level. Well, well not level, but rank. Whatever rank a monster is, you will at least get equal value or less. With rare times, times getting higher ranking monster monsters. As you can see, when they got G ranks. Oh, yeah, and sometimes with specific combinations, you can get higher ranks. F used to be the lowest, but G is now a thing. Which, granted, I might combine to get Drake Slime. But we'll talk about it soon. The other thing is the monster itself. Like, uh, let's get Komodo, because Komodo might show. Nope, it isn't. Early monsters don't really show it, but later monsters will. Oh, actually, you think? Just deal with Mother Mannequin. Oh, no, then. But yeah. Oh, that would be good. Getting a bullfinch. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one to show, because we can get Toadie with these two. But with these two, you get a bullfinch. That's a that's a combination I can show. So let's actually do some synthesizing and talk about what happens when you're combining monsters. Confirm the parents, and now we can choose what skills they inherit. Effectively, they will always have two free skills they can inherit. Past that, they don't earn anything. 
Uh, shallow re reverb, because then you can get flame breath and chilly breath. Now, let's see if we get lucky walking over then. Sometimes in this game, you can get a shiny monster. It doesn't change color, but the stats are different. It's usually stronger. Of course, there are monsters that can only be made through specific monsters. And I mean very specific. Ugh, these skills are not good. Okay. Of course, these new monsters start at level 1. So it means training them back up. Which, depending on who you ask, is kind of a bummer. I think it's a cool thing. Oh, we can get mud. Mud Drake. Combine these. Of course, there are some monsters that just cannot be combined. And you can combine them back into themselves. Don't like any of these. Come again. You'll be using this a lot. Yeah, we can talk to Royston to get specific monsters into our party. I'm gonna bring you. You're gonna be useful. You're gonna be useful. I'm going to confirm, and I'm actually going to do. Tar very much. Yeah, I know. Uh, before anything, I'm actually going to. Well, first of all, save. But second of all, I'm actually going to turn off the music so I can actually speak. Because I can speak my mind clearly. Because there is a few other things I can talk about. Sim same thing. I'm going to get a bit closer to my, my mic. So, there are other new nuances to sim sizing, depending on the game, so I can't go into those. But, there are tips and tricks, and I'm going to give a few of them, which is why this video is going to be mainly just the sim sizing. There are obviously many, many types of monsters, but there's a few classifications depending on what you want. There is your fodder monster, which is only there to give their scale points or their skill tree to a monster. There is your indispensable monsters, which will just Sympathize over and over and over until you eventually find some something better. And then there is your key recipe monsters. Those will help you unlock some unique and very dangerous monsters. And I'm not just saying that. You can get a rank 
S S rank X or rank question mark question mark question mark depending on the game you can get one of those ranked monsters if you know how and know the monsters pretty much as soon as you get synthesization synth synth I'm just gonna call it synthing it's not straight when you get synthing you can get those monsters if you know how and that's why I'm, I'm keeping Komodo because I want to get it to be a great dragon as it is one of many monsters that can fuse into that monster of course that can only be done when the full game is out I'm quite sure so yes uh, I'll give of course the recipe I'm going for, going for for the so you guys know is great dragon crossing with demon at arms however that doesn't mean that all monsters just need two components yep certain monsters need four three or even four and sometimes there are monsters that win those that need other monsters. One of the most infamous, I believe, was in Dragon Quest Monster Joker 2, Leonix, which not only needed two of a monster you could only get one of, but also required a rare monster that you needed another mon monster for, which also required four components. Yeah, this this is where this game is going to go crazy when we get to the later areas, and it's going to be where I go a little crazy while trying to figure out how I'm going to record this game <laughs> oh I love it though doubly so so when if there is a tournament feature I just hope to do hide any monsters behind tournaments but hey I'm not here to talk about that now, let's get back on to our adventure, because I'm not going to end it here, let's end it with talking to Rose. Off oh, the cutting. Huh? What's wrong? I know this is cutting when we leave, so I'm going to just do that. I miss this song. My word, it's hot 
Yeah, maybe they will. Next time. And also, before I sign off, this music. I'm glad to hear so updated but kept. This is a recurring theme in Dragon Quest Monsters, and I don't know why, but I love it. But, we'll explore next time. And level up our team. Okay, my level up my team off screen because uh, I'm not confident. <laughs> uh, but I'll see you guys then. Zeno Zuma, signing out. <laughs>